Hi, it's me, Michael, again, and I want to help you get started and understand your new drone. So first things first, right here at the front, we have a 4K camera. Now this can shoot 30 frames a second, or in 1080, you can shoot 120 frames a second. Right here and here, we have the lights. These can pump out 1,200 lumens each. That's 1,200 lumens, people. Pretty bright. Okay, this ring here is a lens holder. It fits on the front and it enables you to get the very best out of the footage that you shoot. Okay, so the Gladius has four thrusters. These uh, propellers here, thrusters. These two here can move the Gladius up and down or uh, can even roll the Gladius. And right here at the back, these two thrusters move it forwards and backwards through the water and also allow you to steer the Gladius. Now, the uh, right here at the bottom is the freshwater counterweight. Now, I already mentioned these in the previous video. There's also one for seawater and you can use the counterweight that's appropriate for the kind of water that you're using the Gladius in. Here at the top is where you connect the cable to the Gladius and tether it to the buoy, which allows you to control the Gladius from the surface of the water. And here at the back is where you can connect the charging cable so that you can charge up the Gladius when you're not using it. Okay, so on to the buoy. Now the buoy is simple enough to use. Here's the cable which connects to the drone. Um, right here is the uh, wireless antenna which you need to make sure that these are both connected before you use it. Now the range on this is up to 300 meters and that depends on what kind of device you're using to connect to the buoy. Make sure you turn it on and then here at the back is where you can connect the charger so that you can charge the buoy up when not in use. Now the charge time on both the buoy and the drone is about one and a half hours each. So you can charge them both up one and a half hours really isn't too long at all. Okay, so now it's time to connect your device to the buoy so you can control the drone. Now to do this, you have to put the, the device that you're using into the controller. Now I'm using an iPad, so I have to extend the controller by unclipping the lock right here and then just clip it back uh, to make sure it's secure. On this side, you can see there's a bit of give on it, which enables you to slot the device in nice and easily. So here's my iPad and there you go. As you can see, it's now nicely secured inside the controller, ready to use. To get started, you need to install the IfDive app on your device, and you can find that app on the Play Store or the App Store. Once you have the app installed, you can connect your boy to the drone like this. Make sure you screw it in tightly so that no water gets in when you're actually using the drone. Turn it on and you'll hear that little noise which tells you that the connection has been made. Now you need to then connect your uh, your device. Oh and there's <laughs> the second little noise which uh, tells you that it's ready to go. So you need to connect to the the boy's Wi-Fi which will come up on your device as Gladius Wi-Fi and you can use the code 12345678 as your password. If this is your first time using the drone, you may need to update the firmware. Don't worry, the app will let you know if you have to do this. In order to do it, just connect your device to the internet, download the update, and then reconnect to the drone so that you can install the update on the drone. Turn on the gamepad by pressing and holding down the home button right here until the gamepad starts flashing orange. From there, open your device's Bluetooth settings and connect to the drone. This will activate the gamepad. That's it, we're ready to go. Look at the next video for tips on using the app.